recording back up again. And there are a couple things, I think while we're waiting for, if anyone else wants to join, I will show you guys something else really quickly. Um, let me share my screen. This is not social media related, but it is website related. And you might have seen this on um, your, on the uh, Facebook page. But I don't know if you can see this on my screen. Um, if you see the bats flying down <laughs> across my screen, if you go to uh, our Facebook page, pull that over here. Um, I think it got posted. Let's see, down a little ways. Got posted yesterday or the day before. Yeah, here you go. Right here. Um, it's a little snippet that you can put in your um, in the custom header part of your website settings that will make it so that the bats fly all over your screen on your website. I will um, I'll put this link in the chat if you want. If you guys are looking for something fun. Um, for Halloween here. Uh, you can do that. You just, you put, there's a snippet of code that is right here. So you just copy this snippet of code and it goes in your, you go to your Web and IDX and you go to your settings then the code goes in your custom header right here. So this, see this flying bats thing right here? That's the script I put in. Um, it'll make bats fly down on your um, on your areas there. Uh, okay, so last week, we'll get started here. It looks like we got oh, 12 people. People want to know, people want to know. Um, last week, we talked about, you know, doing, making kind of your website your own, and we did all the featured areas. Um, so if you missed that, um, definitely go back and watch it. It is on our YouTube channel now. Um, but what I did I've just been playing with my website. Um, what I did now is I put my, this is not mine. So in order to, in order to make this happen, um, to have your feed up there, your feed has to be public. Um, so I have my own Instagram feed, but it's private because I don't use it for work and I only let put my kids on there and I don't let other people look at it unless I know who they are. So I use the Babylon B, which I think is hilarious. Um, because they have a, uh, a public one, obviously, and you probably do too. And I did it so that now um, the feed comes to my website and you can do Instagram, you can do Facebook, you can do LinkedIn, you can do a, um, a combo of all of those. And we're going to show you how to do that. So let's get going. Um, the thing you need to make this work is you need um, a thing called Elfsite. So you go to elfsite.com and this is a, they have a free version and they have a paid version. This is not something you're paying KV Core for. It's just, if you want them to make the widget for you, um, you have to pay them. Well, you don't have to pay them. You can do one widget for free. And I think it's up to 10, maybe it's up to a thousand views, I think. And by views, it means, you know, visits to your web page. So like if someone for the next, I think I, I did the free version, the next thousand people a month. So if you have more than if you have more than a thousand people coming to your website, your front page where this lives a month, not like other pages on your website that doesn't count. Um, you could get away with the free version if it's under that. If you think it's over that, then you might want to think about, you know, doing the paid version. Or if you want more than one widget, you would need the paid version. The other thing that the paid version does is you see this thing where it says free Instagram feed widget here. This has our little logo there. Um, because I got the free version, that will be there. So if you don't want that to be there too, you can get the paid version. And I believe the um, cost of it, I'm just gonna log in here. Um, this, this is a different, um, so I signed up with a different email to get my first free one. 
I sent over the different email to get my second free one. You could do that too. Um, so to, to show you guys how to do it. You do, they do give you a coupon code when you first sign up. And um, I think, I'm trying to remember the, all right, where I got to the billing, active subscriptions, I, where I got to the part where it says, hey, um, tells you, oh, here it is. So this is how much it costs. So if you want the basic one, you can get an unlimited number of, um, you put on unlimited number of websites, you can get all of the apps um, that you want on there. You get 5,000 views per app. So if you have more than 5,000 people coming to your website a month, that's monthly, you know, you might want to think about the pro plan, but I think most people um, would be okay with here. Um, and it does take that logo off. And these, so these are your three different um, your three different options as far as if you want a paid account goes. But again, you can do it for free. Okay, let's hop into it. So we're just gonna go back to applications. So let's say that you, so I already did the Instagram feed before. Um, so let's say I wanna do, and they have all sorts of them. If you look at like, you can put your Google reviews on here. You can do like a YouTube feed. Um, let's close this out. Um, your Facebook reviews, if you wanna put that on. Um, like testimonials, all sorts of stuff that you can put on here, um, TikTok even if that's your jam. Um, you know, so there's all sorts of different apps that you can you can put on here. Um, so we're gonna do, I think your I'm gonna try Facebook. So I have already done Instagram and that, and you can see that's kind of what that looks like there. Um, but I'm gonna do. Facebook. I should be able to do Facebook because I have a Facebook, um, a Facebook page that I own. So we'll see how this goes. So you, first you start with your template. So you can say, okay, what do I want my template to look like on my um, page? So your Facebook template could be, um, it could go, look like this, you know, this is kind of what's happening. It could be, um, like in a in a row and you kind of have to think about the way it looks on your website. So you might want to try different ones to see how it looks. Um, you can do a medium widget and then it's like, it's a scrolling thing. So people can kind of scroll the things that you have um, put on your website or put on Facebook recently. There's a large widget, which has like, you know, more stuff on it. Um, Oh, I sorry, I already scrolled down. So it shows you kind of whatever it is. So you pick what you want it to look like. And so let's say I'm gonna use this guy. So I'm gonna hit continue with this template. And then I'm going to connect to Facebook. So you have to be signed into Facebook. I'm gonna continue as myself. And I am, the owner of a lot of pages because I work with a lot of agents. So I will, let's see, let's find one where they're not going to be mad at me for using it. I can use my. They'll use this one. This is my best friend's husband's account, who's also our real estate agent. Um, so we'll do that. And then, um, so then you have to say yes to all of this stuff, done. And now it's linking the plugin to Facebook and say, okay. So now it's gonna replace it with everything that, um, that they have on their Facebook page. And I'm gonna title my widget Facebook. Two words. Okay. And then I'm gonna save it. So now um, it's gonna say, okay, you have to, for a single app, this is what you can do. Oh, it's actually only 200 views. So that's what the free one is. I thought it was a thousand, but it's 200. So you might want to do the basic, but 5,000, five bucks a month is, it's coffee, right? Like I would maybe do that or even do that. This is just for a single app. 
if you want all the apps, it's that um, the um, pricing that I showed you before. So you might want to think about doing this, but I'm just going to select this for now because I don't want to pay. This is just for, you know, for showing you guys. So it's just made you a widget and this is the code. Now here's the trick. This down here is the code you need for putting it into the widgets. This code is the script code and you need to put that in a different place. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I'm gonna copy the code just by clicking it. And then in KV Core, see so this is, you're gonna put the first line. So I'm gonna paste it in the first line. So I'm gonna take this out, the second line out and you're gonna put it in your custom header. So this one is the one that I had for um, the Instagram feed that I had in there. And this one is the new one. I think these are actually just the same though. So you might be able to just get away with having one in there. I'm gonna try it actually and see if that works. Having one in there for all of your widgets. Let's see if that works. If not, we can add it back in. And then, you're going to go over to your Web and IDX website manager, and you're gonna go to your widgets. So as you can see, I have an Elf site widget. That's my Instagram one. And this is my featured area one. So Elf site is first, featured area is second. And you can see that on my page. And then I'm going to do a new custom widget. So custom widget add. So this is gonna be Elf site Facebook. Um, and then you can say whatever you want. You can say my, my Facebook feed. No one sees this. Um, and then the HTML content is where you wanna put that right here. And um, I'm going to, so this again is the part we put in our custom header. We're gonna take that top line out and just leave this one in. We're gonna save it. And then, um, and then you can move these around. So like, let's say I want my Facebook one to be under my feature areas one, widget or whatever, you can move them. Um, and then you're done. So now this may take a minute. I'm gonna hit preview and it might not work right away simply because um, it takes a little while to populate sometimes, um, but let's see. Yeah, it's not there yet. The other thing you can do is flush your cache. Oopsies, that's not what I wanted. Or I might need to put that script back in where I took it out. It's also a possibility. So you can always flush the cache. I'll put this in the chat. Can you post a link for the bats on our website again, please? It's right above your comment, but I will do that again in a second. Um, so see this flush, I just said flush cache. You put that on the end of anything, you can, it'll just flush the cache of your, of your um, website. We'll see, because the other day it was taking like an hour. Oh, there it is, yay. So there is your um, widget right there. Um, and again, if you wanna get rid of this stuff, you have to get the paid version, but you can stick your widget on, um, you know, as you like. And it worked, I'm so excited. So that's how you do that. And again, I will, Put this, I'll post this one more time. This is for the bats in the chat here. I'll also post it when I post a face or when I post this to Instagram. No, YouTube. I will uh I'll put that in there as well. But that's how it works. So you just have to make it on Elf site, put the first line in your custom header in your settings, and put the second line in a custom widget in your widget section. 
and you can add pretty much anything you want to your your Facebook page or your excuse me your TV core website. All right, that was easy and fast. My little fast trip tip or trick today. So we've got tons and tons of time. I would love to answer any questions that you guys have. It can be in relation to this. It can be in relation to your website or anything that you've been wanting to know or do with KV Core. Um, you know, just let me know and I'm happy to answer any questions. I've got 45 minutes to talk to you guys. So ask away. Anybody? I mean, I can go eat lunch early, but people pay all the time to talk to me. So if you've got questions, I've got answers. Hey, show me how to do this. Show me how to do that. Anybody? Nothing. What is the hourly rate for done for you? Um, it's not an hourly rate. It is a, so if you sign up for a done for you proposal with me, and so I'll show you where that is on KB Core. I have a couple of things. I do have an hourly rate to talk to me. That's a different story. Um, bah, 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 marketplace. So these are my tiles, the done for you, um, the help session, and the coaching session. Coaching session is an hour, it's 250 an hour. The help session is 30 minutes, it's 150 for 30 minutes. The um, done for you is a consult. It's a $75 consult, it's 45 minutes with me, but it's not really for like help or coaching. It's for you to say, I want you to do X, Y, Z for me. And then I would send you a proposal after the fact to say, this is what it would cost for me to do that. And then you can choose to do that or choose not to do that, it's up to you. So it just depends on what you're looking to accomplish and like what you want us to do for you. Um, we can do that. Okay. Question from Rosemary. I'm on YouTube now. How do I find the instructions just posted? Oh, it is not. Uh, so on YouTube, this is our YouTube site and I'll put this in the chat. Um, if you go to our playlist and you go to our success meetups, these are where all of these recordings are. This <laughs> This particular one is not on there yet. So actually, where did I go here? Beautiful playlist. Yeah, here it is. So these are all of our um, past recordings, but we don't have um, the one I'm doing on there yet because we're not done. So once we're done here and it uploads, usually, and we have a person who uploads it, um, you're not seeing, um, oh, well, that's because I was doing it wrong. Here, let's try this all over again. This is the link to, I was doing it to just the panelists and there are no panelists. Um, there's the link for the bats. I'm so sorry. Um, this is the thing you can stick on the end of your URL to flush your cache. This is the link to YouTube. Um, okay, so if you're in YouTube and this, that's our YouTube channel and you go to this playlist, these are the playlists, or these are all the pre posts for the, wow, I'll try this again. These are all the recordings of all of our success meetups that we do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, this particular one isn't up yet because we're not done, but in a few days it will be up and I will have all those links and notes in that as well. Okay. Before with Ryan Next Level has his own page on KB Core, you can post queries and suggestions and I can't find it anywhere. Rose, are you a Next Level subscriber? And if so, I can point you to that. Yes. Okay. So if you are a Next Level subscriber, this is where you go. You go to support and training. And then you go to next level coaching. And then you go here. Now, don't, we're trying to get this removed because we took it out of the marketplace. Don't click on this. It should be removed soon. You just have to sign in here. And if you forgot your sign in, you can hit, remember, 
recall password and then you can get back into it. That is where you wanna go to get to that area. Um, okay, right now my blog, and KV Core is pointing to my blog site off KV Core. Is there a way to import the old ones into KV Core from WordPress to get it all under one roof? Kind of. Um, so what you would have to do, there's no way to import blogs into KV Core. Um, if you want, what you, what you have going on probably is in your Web and IDX website manager. You have, I don't see the button under support and training. You don't see next level coaching here. You should if you're a subscriber. If you are, if you're a subscriber and you don't see this here, you need to contact support and say, hey, that's not my next level coaching button is not under support and training. Sometimes you have to scroll down, like when my when I open this up on a smaller screen, it cuts off my screen, kind of cuts off right here and I don't see it. So that might be as well. But if you, if that's the case, you'll want to go um, talk to support, put in a support ticket and they'll make sure it gets there for you. Um, okay, where was I? So in WebNIDX, in your um, settings, I believe you're probably redirecting your blog to a different website. It's in here somewhere. Because it's very, very long and there's all sorts of things you can do. Custom navigation, listing carousels, analytics agents. Did I miss it? I must have missed it. Custom tags, info, agent, analytics. Environment, finance tab, resources tab. So the reviews language. Um, maybe it's way up here. That could be too. Not in here a ton. Clean photos, blah, blah, blah. I know there's a way to do it. Um, you probably have it redirecting to, to an offsite, which you said you did. I have to figure out that. Um, but if you go to your blog posts, what you would need to do is you would need to um, just copy and paste in what you have in WordPress. So you would hit add post, copy and paste it in, um, put in your title, and then you'd have them all. And then you would want to stop redirecting it from to the old site. But there's no way to, there's no way to, um, just automatically import from one site to the other. It doesn't, that doesn't work. Um, but you could definitely copy and paste them over into here by adding the posts here. And then um, and then you would want to make your your blogs, um, your blog posts direct there, here instead of to your opposite place that you have going on. Um, Lots of stuff to do. We had our okay. Hang on. Can you okay? How do I add the CRMLS to my website? CRMLS. Veronica, do you mean just how do you add your MLS feed to your website? Um, let me know if that's what you meant. Sean. Hi, Sean. <laughs> Sean is my uh is who's um Facebook page is now living on our site here. Can you customize the QR in KB Core to go to a web page instead of the main page? Um, no, you can't. Um, however, you can use a, it's called flow code and you can get a free account. 
And you can make a QR code that directs anywhere you like. And you can make it branded. You can put your logo in it. It's really, really cool. Um, and I did a webinar about it. I think I put it on the YouTube channel, actually. Uh -uh -uh. Blog. Uh, well, that's not what I wanted. I did a YouTube thing. Here, this one right here. I'll put this in the um I'll put this in the chat Is there as a well. In Oregon? I am. Uh sure. This I showed if you watch this, um I'll put this in the chat. If you watch this video, it will show you how to um use flow code. And then it will show you how to actually do, um, you can set up flow code to, instead of going to a website to send a text, like scan here to text. So then the text message could be like info or something and send info directly to your um, KD core, which is like a text code. So then you're gonna capture their cell phone number. And then you could set up an automatic thing back to say, hey, here's the website you were looking for. There it is, it would text it right to their phone, but it's a great little kind of added step that lets you capture their cell phone number into KB Core if you wanna do that. So I highly recommend watching that. Um, we had an agent walk in and talk our ear off during this. Where can we grab the recording? Love these topics. So yeah, so again, if you go to our um, Zoom, or excuse me, God, Wait, I don't know. I can't make words today. Our YouTube, which I'm going to put here again. Um, these are all of our videos and our playlists for these topics are right here. Um, in, uh, in our YouTube channel. But our YouTube channel is really great um, for all sorts of things. So um, there you go. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Let's see if I have any more questions. One new message. Who has the best website with KV Core to look at ideas? Oh, well, that kind of depends on what you mean by best website. I mean, you can pay, <laughs> you can pay to have a whole WordPress website made by us. Um, that's amazing. Like, um, like this is one that they just did. Um, this is, you know, this is a KV Core website, but it's WordPress. Um, but, you know, our developers made this for this particular person. So, you know, but that's talking, you know, thousands of dollars, you know, to do, obviously. But if you want to do that, you can do that. That is in our um, 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 marketplace and our make third party tools, fully custom templates. So if you want to do that, this is you you put in your information, kind of what you're looking for. They'll set up a consult with you and you know tell you, hey, we're, what you're looking to accomplish, this is what it would cost us to do it for you. The nice thing about this, because we do have a WordPress plugin. So if you have a WordPress site, you can plug in our IDX, the feed and the feed caption, all that into it, but we don't support it. Like we give it to you, but your developer would have to support it for you. But if you have us make you the, the website, the plugin is included and we do support it for you. Um, the other thing you can do um, for websites is if you want something that's not thousands and thousands of dollars, um, but is a little snazzier, you can do a semi-custom site. So you can pick like something like this. And um, I believe it's like 
Um, and then you can actually put some widgets on there too. Like if you want a mortgage calculator on there, or you want, you know, a chat widget, or if you want to meet the team section, you know, different things that you can do. Um, they can put extra widgets on there for you. Um, you can see the widgets here actually. Um, you know, there's the mortgage calculator, or you can put YouTube, but I wouldn't pay to put YouTube widget on there. Like if you want to put a YouTube widget on there. I went over this in that last last week, so the weeks before, but um, it's in your widgets now. In your widgets, you can do a um, another custom widget and make it YouTube. And all you do for that is you put, like if I wanted to put this, let's pick one here. I wanted to put this video on my email page, I would share it and I would get the embed code right there. Uh, and I'd put it here. And that will that will add it to my page. Again, it might take a second. I'll probably have to flush my cache too. We'll come back to it and see. Um, but yeah. Um, I would have to ask around at like other websites of what they've done for ideas and stuff, but I can um Michael, I'm gonna give you my, well, I'll give you all my email. If you guys, Michael, there's my um, email. If you wanna email me, just remind me, I can ask around to some of the account managers to see who's got some cool websites to look at and I can respond and email you back. Uh, okay. I only have the San Diego MLS on my website and I want to see if I can add. An... Oh, so you've got a second MLS that you want to add. You, okay, it depends on who you're with, like who your broker is. Um, sometimes you have to pay for it and sometimes you don't, but on your, you go here, you go to your profile and you go to edit profile and you would put your MLS ID in here, multiple IDs allowed. So you put you put your MLS ID in here for, it should already be in there for your San Diego one. And then if you have another one, you just hit a comma, no spaces and put in another, um, another agent MLS ID. And then both of them should populate to your um, website. Actually, I don't think anybody has to pay now. EXP used to, but I think they changed that even now. So I think it kind of depends, but I'm pretty sure for most people, if you do that, you should be able to add, um, add another um, MLS to your website. Okay, hope that made sense. You're welcome, no problem. All right, let's see. I like your background video on your website. Thanks, Kim, because I love Game of Thrones so much. So yeah, because I'm not an agent, so I didn't, um, I was just playing around. Oh, there it was. See, here's your YouTube channel. Here's your YouTube video right there. And FYI, if you wanted it to be, um, you can add another one, it'll go right next to it. But if let's say you wanted this to be centered, you can do that with a centering tag. Uh -oh. And I'm not a coder, so if I can do this, you can do this. Um, so basically, 
you go over YouTube and you hit edit and you put center here and here. So just that center, save that. Then this should, um, it's gonna take a minute to populate. And again, I'm probably gonna have to flush my cache again. Um, but it should go to the middle of your screen if you want it in the middle. Um, but like if you put two on here, you could do like, you could center it, or I think there's a, there's a left tag and a right tag as well. Left tag is left align is I think a, let's look it up. I think it's just left or it might be, let me take it, take that back. I think, I think it is just left and right. Um, with that, with those less than equal sound, equal less, less than greater than signs around it. I'm sure that it's called something in, in coding world that I don't know about because I'm not a coder, but um, let's see. Um, yep, see there, and there it is, it's in the middle now. Um, anybody else have any other questions? Questions, questions, questions. Nobody, okay. Well, I will shut her down then and go have some lunch, but I appreciate you guys all hopping on. Um, this will be on YouTube in the next few days. You're welcome, Loretta. Thank you all for coming. It's a pleasure to hang out with everybody all the time and, uh, and see everybody. So I'll be back next Wednesday, but on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the other trainers do sessions. Mine's are usually more of a little something like next level like this and theirs are a little more, um, kind of more basic, but always great to learn. And, and again, you can always ask us any questions you want at the end, um, if you've got anything happening that you want to learn about. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Um, it's good to see everybody and I will shut her down. I hope everybody has a great um, rest of their day and happy fall. Bye everybody.